Alright, so um, you probably wonder why you can't see me. It's because I'm in the bathroom and the light is shut off. Um, everybody is sleeping, so I don't want to disturb anybody. But um, this is the first video of Wednesday. Um, this is the uh, Melvin Gordon video that I was talking about. So we're going to get right into this video real quick and then I'm going to go to sleep. where today Nebraska and Wisconsin square off in a battle so um, before we continue this is the uh, video um, Wisconsin versus Nebraska this is when he um, he racked up the 400 plus yards and he uh, he broke the record of Ron Dane without the previous record for control of their own destiny in the Big Ten's West Division in a showdown of two of the best running backs in the country you can like a lot of things about each guy. The two things I like about Melvin Gordon, Sean, from zero to 60, there's nobody better. Great acceleration. And the second thing is he understands blocking schemes and he always hits the hole. Gordon out to the 26. He's from Kenosha, Wisconsin, leading the country in rushing yards per game, just under 167. He's had at least 120 in eight of their nine games. He's had five games of 175 rushing yards or more. That's most in the country. The success that they've had with Stabby at the helm. Melvin Gordon gets outside. Delivers a stiff arm to Corey Cooper, but couldn't stay in bounds. Got additional yardage after the stiff arm, and they'll mark him out at the Nebraska 28. A 42-yard run for Gordon understanding where the hole's going to be, the patience that we talked about right there, setting up his block, then a 0-60 to 60 acceleration, that's the power of stiff arm. Nobody uses stiff arm better than number 25, Melvin Gordon, in all of college football. Joel Stabby apparently all right after he got belted while throwing for a first down. He hands it off to Melvin Gordon, who turns the corner. Second time, he's got him loose. He went right over Corey Cooper and all the way into the end zone for a touchdown. He's off to the races. Todd? I know you're a little frustrated with the attempted tackle or lack thereof, but Melvin Gordon, what makes him special is that he makes hard things like that look so easy. I mean, you have a guy running at you full speed, you're tiptoeing down the sideline, and you, you don't even break the sprint. I mean, very few guys have the body control to do what he just did and to have the acceleration right off of the jump as well. This, this guy's something else. Play against him in the NFL is like hitting a Volkswagen. Joel Stabby, the pitch to Melvin Gordon, working some of his magic. And it takes a lot of body control to do what he does. Gordon, first down. Gordon finds a crease. These teams did practice outdoors in the cold during the week. Melvin Gordon bounced off the pile. Then went away from Josh Mitchell, and here he goes. Nate Gary able to get him down to the open field at the 17-yard line. Well, they felt like they can get a one-on-one -on -one matchup with Mitchell, number five. They'll win that battle. And Melvin Gordon shows you his shake right here. Nate Gary does a good job of buying time, allowing the guys to pursue two pretty good ones here today. Melvin Gordon really helping his Heisman candidacy as he goes off to the races again. And if I was a gambling man, I'm betting on 25 red. Look at Gary, untouched, his feet get stuck. You cannot break down against fast backs. you got to run through the target. If you break down, a person that accelerates with a shake like that will put you on his highlight film in a heartbeat. Four rushes of 39 yards or longer for Gordon. And he powers ahead for about nine. Melvin Gordon, first carry of the second half, gets nine. He can do that. And that's why they decided to go with it. But in the future, as Gordon gets a jet sweep. And here he comes down the sideline, trying to prove to Chris Millman he can break away. And he's run down by Nate Gary at the one-yard line. 43-yard run. Will he score the touchdown? You bet him. 
And now you start to look at the school record, which is 339 yards. Melvin Gordon, here he goes again. Melvin Gordon, run down inside the 10 yard line. Again, Nate Gary charged with trying to prevent the touchdown. <laughs> well, you're watching total physical domination by the offensive line in number 34 Watt. When you can run up the middle or a basic handoff of a two-back system and not get touched until you get to the two-yard line, that's physical domination by the Wisconsin offensive line and right there you saw just the the ability where he gets run down from behind and that's the only knock that i have against melvin gordon the only knock everything else is great 68 yard run and that's the single game wisconsin record 363 yards rushing for gordon and add to it and add a touchdown Three hundred and sixty nine breaks Ron Dane's record by 30 yards. It's the fourth 300 yard plus rushing game in Wisconsin history. Joel Stavi under center. Melvin Gordon. You he hear the crowd groaning. First and goal. He's now. Twenty five yards away from tying Ladanian Tomlinson's record in the quarter we we'll see 238 at the half Gordon again inside the five touchdown what a performance by Melvin Gordon the burst in the acceleration right there the vision the cutback nobody can get an angle on him because his zero to 60 acceleration is unmatched in a college game and he just runs through arm tackles like they're not even there. Speaks for itself. The thing, the thing that's hard to imagine is that they've thrown for 48 yards, Chris. So Nebraska's lining up. They know exactly what they're going to do. They're they're putting it in the box, and they're still not able to, to get guys in to get proper gaps and they're not able to wrap up and make tackles. Yeah, and they're at a complete loss, and it's physical domination, Todd, and as I just mentioned, to me, as a player, when you know a team is pounding the football on you, and no matter what you call or what you do, there's nothing you can do to stop it, that's embarrassing for a football mm -hmm. player. That's humiliating, and Melvin Gordon has made the most of his opportunity. New his record, yeah. single game record, as they help Randy Gregory up, surpasses by two to 406 yards. Put up against UTEP in 1999 by the great Ladanian Tomlinson. Went on, obviously, to star in the NFL, as it certainly seems Melvin Gordon will. No one at this level of college football has run for as many yards as Melvin Gordon has today here at Camp Randall Stadium. Melvin Gordon still has enough left in the tank to jog across the field. <laughs> Played three quarters, 408 yards rushing. A single game record for FBS football. So, um, actually, there was a guy that. Oh. So, actually, there was a guy that did um, break his record, and his name is Samaj P. Ryan. And so, that would be the guy that I would be um, putting up next. And so, that would be later today. Samaj P. Ryan, and I'm going to post the game that he uh, he broke his record on and it was against Kansas back in 2014 the same year that he had uh, broken the Danny Thompson's record so uh, like comment subscribe and I'll see y'all then